Hi, my name is Joshua with Sterling Concrete. Today we're going to talk about a different type of finish than what we've discussed in the past in the other videos. Uh, this finish is called a hard trowel finish. And basically we're going to talk about the process. Uh, it really is the same when it comes to the setup of the concrete, whether it's broom finish, uh, exposed aggregate, hard trowel, or even sand finish. Uh, the prep work is largely the same. In this particular shop, uh, we're going to bring the grade up. It's low and we don't want to pour eight inches of concrete so we're going to bring the subgrade up to where we allow for a four inch slab and then we're going to compact that grade. Then we're going to install our rebar two foot on center and then we're going to chair it up with rebar chairs and then we're going to pour and finish it and then the following day we're going to go ahead and saw cut it. So enjoy the video. We're going to break down each of these steps in detail as we go. First, we're going to talk about the grade work. Um, in this particular case, uh, the grade work was very low, the existing grade, and so we needed to bring in some structural base to bring it up and get it to where it was sound and the subgrade was suitable for concrete. So we brought in several yards of material, uh, we graded it out, and we ran a plate compactor over it to get it compact and ready for concrete. So the next step is the rebar installation. After we get our subgrade prepared, uh, then we want to go ahead and put rebar in. Um, rebar needs to be installed two foot on center in every occasion. Uh, sometimes more rebar, but it, the minimum is two foot on center. So we install rebar two foot on center and um, we tie it together uh, with uh, an electric uh, uh, rebar gun. And then we take our rebar and we chair it up. It's very important that the rebar be right in the center of the concrete. So that would be two inches off the existing subgrade that we've prepared. So we put chairs underneath the rebar to suspend it and hold it there. And as the truck pulls out of the shop, uh, we put those chairs underneath there to make sure that it's right at two inches uh, in the center of the concrete. Okay, so the next step in the process is actually pouring the concrete. Um, we do it in these particular cases with shop slabs, which are flat and don't have any slope on them. We use what's called a Viber screed. Uh, it's a, a very convenient and useful tool that we use uh, so that the guys don't have to bend over and uh, use their backs and they can stand up and screed the concrete. It also brings a lot of that surface cream, that surface matrix to the top, and it pushes the rocks down uh, so that it's uh, much easier to finish and trowel. Um, so uh, once the concrete's down and we take our power trowels and we implement those when the time is right and we run a power trowel over it and basically that power trowel uh, just takes the place of probably three guys um, troweling by hand and we just go over it and we go over it and we continue to go over it until it gets to the point where we can just wipe it out by hand and trowel it and that's it. You've got a finished slab. The following day we'll go back and sock it. 